Hello everyone, welcome back, hope you are all well. In this video, we are going to tear down this Xbox Series S. So, what is inside one of these brand new little beauties? So this uh, arrived from the couriers earlier today, and today is the 10th of November, 2020. So literally just released. This is a full retail unit. So not uh, one of the promotional units um, that you might have seen on YouTube already. Um, as a little bit of a disclaimer, um, I am not too sure how to open this. So this is the first time I'm doing this. Um, I've seen a couple of uh, YouTube videos uh, which have already been posted which look at tearing down parts but I haven't seen one that does the full tear down yet. So this is the first time I'm doing it. Um, so we're kind of doing this together. So uh, I might make some mistakes but uh, we'll learn together along the way. Right, let's get into it now. Uh, you, If you're a subscriber, you'll see some of my other videos where I uh, and repairing the Xbox S and the Xbox S models. So I'm familiar with how to open those. So I'm gonna take pretty much the same approach to opening this. So what's on the back, let's have a look. That's just a little bit of tape I've put on there to cover the serial number up. Um, so obviously we've got uh, the network port, we've got two USB, HDMI out, uh, expansion sockets, power, and then the lock there. Um, by the looks of it, there's two white labels either side here. Don't know how well that shows up on the camera. You can see them just there. So I'd imagine that there's a couple of screws underneath that. So that's probably a good place to start. So let's try and remove those. See how we get on. Yeah, as I thought. So there's a screw there. You can bet your bottom dollar there's going to be a screw here as well. Let's have a look. Yep, and a screw just there. Right, so what size socket do we need for these? Now this is a T8, and that seems to fit. Right, let's take these two out. go that was easy enough so that just slides backwards and then comes off and then very similar to the old Xbox S we've got some green screws we've got some silver screws and we've got some black screws so I think our approach will be let's just take all of the screws out now on the S, Xbox S, these green screws hold on the top case. So I imagine it's the same for that. So I imagine once we remove the green screws, we'll be able to remove this top case. Silver screws hold in peripherals like the power supply, uh, etc., and hard drive. And these black screws here hold in the heat sink. So let's take all of the screws out. <laughs> Okay, so that's all of the screws out. Now let's uh, flip it around and see how this casing comes off. Now the old one, the old S I should say, used to pull out from the back. I wonder if this is the same, I'm not sure. Yeah, it looks to be. So you're kind of just levering the top casing off gently, giving it a bit of a wiggle and pushing it forward. Let's see if that works. just lift off the case and you have to lift it over these little screw holes here so be careful not to snap those off if you're doing this yourself right what have we got so far so at the front here we have got the usb port and wi-fi card by the looks of it and there is also the bind button there on 
on this side here, we've got the power button, little LED for the power light. Let's just zoom in a little bit so you can see this in a little bit more detail. So it's the power button, power board, I should say, with the power button on it. And then this side, so you've got some Wi-Fi going on here, bind button and USB. And then to the side, just here, the Wi-Fi card as well. So I imagine that's for your network and that's probably for your controller, Wi-Fi. Okay. So let's take those off. So those three screws off and I imagine this is gonna be similar and it is. It just pulls off with a push on connector there. Right, I can really feel this top RF shield is loose so that just literally pops off so no screws holding that down and that pops off like so and then we are into the insides so as we've undone all the screws I imagine this will all just come out so let's start with the fan so the fan is just resting on there obviously there's a cable just here Let's just pull that to one side and then disconnect the power cable. Like so. So the fan I'd say is very similar in size to the uh, old Xbox S. And it is actually unbranded, so there's no manufacturer. Oh, this, I'll tell a lie, it's on the side here. So it's a Foxconn fan. Uh, PVA 130 F12M. Okay. Power supply. Does that come off? Oh. Okay. No cable. So very similar to the Xbox X. So two prongs onto a connector on the motherboard like so and there looks to be some thermal padding there which makes sense because that's just above the external expansion port so that's a nice compact power supply and obviously going with the same approach there on the xbox x right let's look into this a little bit more so Similar to the S, there's a little RF shield here, which above the USB ports, which needs to come off to allow us to remove the motherboard. Quickly, let that just pull off. Yes, it does. That just lifts straight off like so. And then I imagine we should be able to just pull out the motherboard. Let's just double check. There's no more screws. Nope. Here it comes. So there we go. So more thermal pads on the uh, casing, on the bottom chassis. There we go, look at that internal storage, just there. Let's put that to one side. We'll come back to that in a minute. So let's have a look at this, what we've got. So, let's take a walk around. We've got obviously our internal storage here, which is removable, which is great. So real good idea from Microsoft to make that um, exchangeable. So similar to the Xbox Series S, X, sorry, um, that's exchangeable. X clamp on this is pretty much the same type of X clamp you find on an Xbox S. Looks like we've got a RAM module there. What's on this side that we can see so far? So obviously we've got a south bridge here, which is uh, a M113-9994. By the looks of it, what I can read there. 
and we've got various power supplies around the board. Let's get this uh, heatsink off and take a further look. Right, if you've seen any other videos on my channel, you'll know the tips I give about removing these X clamps. The main one being just be incredibly careful because you do risk slipping and then you know uh, removing a uh, capacitor off the motherboard. There we go, X clamp off. So yeah, let's just spin it back round again and then pop off the heatsink. A bit of a wobble, there we go. So lots of shielding around there, which is great. And then obviously we've got thermal pads and uh, they're actually gone with standard thermal paste uh, actually on the APU and heatsink. So on the PlayStation 5, they went with liquid metal. So on this Xbox Series S, it's standard thermal paste. I'll have a look at that in a minute. So let's see what we can find on here. So obviously we've got various power supplies running in. Below here will be some memory. Don't know if that's actually soldered down or not. It's RF shield. Let's pop off the RF shield, see what's below that. So, as I thought, just below that gasket, we've got our memory. And of course, on the Series S, we have uh, 10 gig of the GDDR6. Uh, and then some thermal pads to keep it cool. Let's just pull that copper tape off. Bend that back into shape later. Right, so there we have full motherboard on view, which is good. So what can we find around? So obviously you've got the APU. We know about the power supply connector. That's the connect power connector for the fan. Our power supply rails. Memory. And then uh, what else have we got? What have we got by way of HDMI port? So we have got obviously a new HDMI port for the Series S. And quite a lot of it is actually labelled as well. This is actually on the PCB, so there's a HDMI, USB, USB, Ether. Ethernet, I imagine. <laughs> um, yeah, Southbridge. On the flip side, another memory module there. And then, as I said, the uh, internal 512 PCIe card. So in terms of, let's just zoom you in a little bit more. So in terms of layout, so HDMI port, runs through some filters, runs into a retimer chip just there. I'm presuming it's a retimer chip. Can't actually read. Just get it around the right way. Can't actually read what, uh, what chip that is, but just there. It's a retimer chip, which you then runs through to the APU, which includes the GPU, through to there. So yeah, interesting stuff. Now, one of the things that uh, used to have problems on the S was power. So it looks like we've got a power controller IC over here. It could be that there, actually, it's yeah, more than likely there. Uh, which is obviously regulating the power. Interesting, very interesting. Right, 
So there you have it. Let's have a look and see what we've got. So obviously we've got the heat sink. Now the heat sink itself it's quite thin actually, so it's a lot thinner than the uh, S heatsink. Power supply that we saw earlier. We have got our WAN card. No, sorry, that's the uh, yeah WAN and uh, bind card. We have then got our wireless card. Got a power board, and then obviously the chassis and the fan. So thanks very much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider giving us a thumbs up. That's always very much appreciated. So as I say, just a video to show you the teardown of the Xbox Series S. And just a reminder, this is the retail unit. So this is the exact same thing you would get if you went to the store to buy an Xbox Series S. And it's really just for a bit of fun and education so you can see exactly what is inside the new console and actually have a, close, a closer look at the motherboard. If you like these types of videos, We've also just posted a teardown of the Xbox Series X as well. So I'll put a link in the description to that. But let us know in the comments below, what do you think of the new Xbox Series S? Do you like it? Do you think it's worth it? Is it good value for money? Let us know in the comments below. Anyhow, thanks very much for watching. Really appreciate your view. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye for now.